Hi guys, welcome back to Coding with Caden. Today we're going to be learning how to code a basketball game in Scratch. Okay, let's get started by deleting our cat. First we're going to create our sprites by drawing them. So the first one we're going to do is going to be our basketball, which I'm just going to make mine a simple orange ball um, for me, just quickly here. Just going to do the same colour on this one. Then I'm going to create that sprite. Going to stick that in the centre there. I'm going to make that a bit smaller over here. Maybe say 30. It's a bit too small. Say 50. Right, there we go. 50 will do me. I'm going to stick that in the middle there of our page. And then I'm going to create another sprite, eh, another costume here. So over here we're going to click paint. And this is optional, but I'm just going to create some confetti. using the brush tool here and some different colours as a celebration of scoring a basket. Do another one over there. And then we'll give it one more down here. Right, that's obviously optional. You don't have to do that. You could just stick with the basketball sprite. But I'm going to use the confetti just to show those who want to use that in the code. Then I'm going to paint a new sprite. Which is going to be a hoop. So we're going to do this hoop in two parts. So I'm going to set the fill to white. And I'm going to set the black line the outline to black. And I'm gonna go back because I hit something. I'm um, gonna create that sprite there and then I'm going to make that a bit smaller again. Maybe say 50. Maybe a bit bigger because we need it to be bigger than our basketball. There we go. 70. I'm going to place that there, go back into paint, a line this time, I'm going to make that a bit of a thicker line here, which should do, and then I'm going to place that behind our other sprite here. I'm then going to create two lines which I can actually get from here which is just two red lines let's see here it is, line so what I'm going to do is place that one up there then I'm going to go down here and click duplicate and then place that one down here on the underside. Okay, now that that's us got all of our sprites, we can start coding our actual game. Alright, to get started for this, we're going to go into our first line, so line 1 over here, and we're going to create a variable through here, which is going to be called score. So score, we're also going to say high score, and we're going to create a time left variable as well. So these are the three variables that we will be using in our code. You can place them however you like. I'm probably going to do one here, one here, and then switch that to the bigger one in the middle. 
Okay, so now that that's us created our three sprites that we need, we're going to set up the score in our line one. So we're going to go into events, grab a when flag clicked, we're going to go into control, say forever, if, we're going to go into operators, we're then going to drag out a greater than symbol, go into our variables, grab a score from here, we're then going to place that inside the first section here, and then we're going to grab a high score and set it in the second section here. We're then just going to say if, so if score is greater than high score, then set high score and drag out score and place it in there. That's basically how you set up a high score for any game and it's a really useful tool to use in Scratch. I use it all the time. Okay, we're now going to move on to our basketball sprite which is going to involve a little bit more detail as we're going to have to set up costumes and the movement of the ball. So we're going to grab a when flag clicked and go into looks we're going to say switch to and then costume one which is our current basketball one and our costume two is our uh, confetti um, costume. We're then going to say go to and set it to the position that it's currently at. Then going to grab in control a forever block, an if statement here as well. We're going to say mouse down, which is in sensing. Down here, we're going to grab mouse down, place that inside our if statement there. We're then going to say glide. Uh, glide, sorry, glide here, one second, two, and we're going to set that to mouse pointer in the drop down menu there. So glide, one second, two mouse pointer. We're then going to say if and place that inside underneath our glide, two mouse pointer. We're then going to say touching sprite one, which, if I'm correct, should be referring, yep to our sprite 2, which is essentially our um, basketball hoop here. So we're going to then say uh, if touching, which is in sensing, if touching, place that inside our if statement, sprite 2, then we're going to say switch costume to costume a uh, two four and then we're gonna say sorry we're gonna say one sec wait one second here and then we're gonna say switch costume back to basketball so the basketball costume which for us is costume one okay then we're gonna say in here change and place that underneath our costume one we're gonna say score here we're going to say change score by 1 and we're going to grab a go to block in here. We're actually going to take all of this out here and replace our if statement with an if else statement. I'm sorry that was my, it was my fault there. And I'm going to place everything that we just did inside our if part of the if else statement. We're then going to say else, then go to, and place it in there. Alright, let's move on to our next sprite. So, for the next part, we're going to stay inside our basketball sprite, and we're going to code the score and the time left as well as um, the what happens when the timer runs out. So we're going to grab a when flag clicked. We're then going to go into our variables, grab a set score to zero at the start of the game. And we're also going to grab a set, we're going to drop down and say time left. 
and we're going to set that to 30 seconds. So this game is basically going to allow the player to have 30 seconds to score as many baskets as they can and for example um, if for say the player got 20 then it would set the score to 20 and the high score to 20 because the 20 uh, because the high score is currently at zero so that's our game idea so therefore we're gonna go into control grab a forever oh didn't mean to put it in there we're gonna grab a forever place it in underneath our set time left and then we're gonna say wait one second also in control place that inside our forever loop gonna say change place that underneath our wait one second time left by minus one and this is going to create a realistic countdown clock we're then going to scroll down a bit and say when flag clicked forever if we're then going to say in operators um, time left is less than so if time left is less than one then we're going to go into control and we're going to grab a stop all and place it inside here so this basically means that when the timer runs out the player will not be able to shoot any more baskets and score any more points as to make the game fair okay now we're going to move on to our basketball hoop here and all we're going to do for this is set up its coordinates for the movement so the basketball hoop is going to move up and down along with it, the backboard here so all we've got to do is go into our motion and we're going to say go to and set it to our current position we're then going to say glide and we're going to set that to one second and then I'm going to change the Y position here and I'm going to say to 90 because that is the top Y position here at the edge. I'm then going to go and say forever, go into back into motion, grab a glide so I'm going to say glide two seconds to minus 90 and then I'm going to grab another one and then say glide two seconds to positive 90. So this is basically going to mean that at the start of the game it's going to glide one second because it's already halfway there up till it touches here and then we're going to go right back down here and then continue to go back and forth until the game ends so it's pretty simple code there but really effective so we're now going to move on to the back uh, the backboard here so we're going to say when flag clicked similar as to our hoop going to grab a go to say glide for one second to positive 94 this time and then we're going to say forever in control I think you know what's coming next glide to negative 94 and then positive 94 so really similar to our last one that we did there and that should be our game so let's try it out and see if it all goes to plan so our basketball oh I know what's wrong straight away I forgot to set these to two seconds here so the back the backboard is going quicker than the hoop Alright, let's try this out once more. So that looks a lot better and you can see that our countdown clock is working to time. 
we'll see if that works. Yep, our confetti. And then once again, yep, there we go. And as you can see, my only problem is is that my um, the score's working, the high score's working, brilliant. Timer's working, backboard's working, the lot. However, our uh, basketball here is going behind the hoop. So all we need to do for that is just move it with our mouse slightly. And then that should all work out fine here. Yeah, there we go. So that's our game for today, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving it a like. Also, subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. Turn on notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't post last week, but I'm going to try and keep on going with the weekly uploads. Alright, let me know what you want to see down in the comments next. Um, I'll, but without further ado, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.